So just to fast track a bit, now you've, you, after your, your gap year and your yep. time spending up uh, in this Chiang Rai and these hill Chiang drives, Mai, Chiang Mai. sorry, Chiang Mai, yep. uh, the hill drives of Chiang Mai, yep. and you go back to Australia, there's yep. a five year gap before you begin the YouTube channel. <laughs> what challenges did you kind of take on at that point? Because I'm going to assume you, did you just go back to your desk job doing analytics or I, you're like, I need another challenge. I need a goal before you took on YouTube. No, well, I went back to study. First of all, I okay. went back to study because I, that was my gap year in between high school and university. So I went back to study. I had some serious, weirdly enough, I had some serious back issues back then. Three and a half years of just chronic back pain. Um, and I didn't really do anything during that period except try and get my back better. And I eventually found the solution after a long time, but I still kept in contact massively with my friends back in Thailand. I kept a close connection to Thailand because I can read and write that helped a lot because I could like speak to them in messenger and on chat and whatnot. And I always had a deep connection to the place. Like I, I never forgotten. And some of my best friends are here. So I definitely stayed in touch. Um, and I think it was only once I hit that kind of nine to five grind that I realized that I need a creative outlet here and I love languages. I love creativity. I love people and I love Thailand and I love Australia. So I was like, why not? Why not? I started watching YouTube at that time and I was like, let's, let's give it a crack. If, if other people can do it, why can't I? That and you kind of just, you stepped outside of your comfort zone and massively you had, I'm assuming no knowledge in terms of media, what equipment to get. Let's zero, just go for zero, it. zero. I borrowed my friend's camera. I didn't do any thumbnails at the start. I didn't even know what a thumbnail was. I didn't know how to edit videos. I didn't know literally anything. I just started watching a little bit of YouTube like three months before that. And I was like, if they can do it, like, why can't I? And I just went out. I guess that's an example of just kind of mm. taking on challenges a little bit. Who was the team at that point? And how has that grown? Team. <laughs> well, like I've got a few friends, really close friends who help. Like, well, someone's filming. Film, right? film yeah. me, and I'll and 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 besides that, like I just do everything myself. Now, when you when you take on that that type of project, yeah. the, the guys behind the camera. Is there, I don't know if I, if you're able to answer that or yeah. if this is even a fair question, but like, is there agreements? Hey, we're in this together or you're helping me or no, how, how it, did that work? It's, it, it's, it was definitely established that okay. you're helping me, um, to a point where I would start to pay yeah. them a, a bit of money. Yeah. At the start, it was all purely just like, Hey, can you help me? You're a mate. Can you help me hold the camera? And then it kind of was like, okay, this is getting a little bit more serious. So we got to organize some stuff. But to be honest, it's still pretty, pretty like raw, <clears throat> raw, like it's not, 